welcome back to Life with Joanna's. I'm happy and excited to have you all here. If it's your first time, welcome. If it's your second, third, fourth, well, lovely to have you back and I'm so excited. As always, if you like what I'm all about, like, subscribe, share, ping, hit the gling gling gling, the notification bell so you know when I post and, you know, be up to date. Okay, so today, today's video actually was highly requested. So I was like, you know what, let me just look into this and put this out there for everyone to, to know. So let's just get into it. It will be a quick video, so um, I'll try not to talk too much. All right, so a lot of you have reached out to me asking me or telling me, oh, Joannis, I, um, how do I get like some of the prerequisites? I'm not, it's not very easy for me to do it in my country. What should I do? How can I go about this? So I got you. So because a lot of you were just messaging me, I was like, okay, let me just look into it. So before I, I say what I want to say, I just want to say this. Uh, the school that I'm about to talk about, I do not have any affiliation with the school. I'm not being paid. They're not paying me. I'm not paying them. I'm not a shareholder. My dad is not a shareholder. My mom is not. I do not know these people. I also did not attend the school. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. I just, every information that I'm going to put out here today can be found on the World Wide Web, Wide World Web, www.http slash colon colon slash slash. You can find that information online, okay? So there is this school called Athabasca University, and I'm going to put all the, the details, the link, the contact in the de de well, <laughs> description of this video so you can um, check them out. But anyways, it's called Athabasca University and it's an online university in Canada. I don't know if it's the only one. I just know that when I Google online universities, it comes up. So I took the liberty of calling them to get some information. But as always, always supplement any YouTube video or any online information. Always supplement it with more research. So don't just take my word for it. Still do your own research. But I did call them like two days ago just to ask some specific questions that I um, a lot of people were asking me so like I said it is an online school and um, for those of you who are perhaps in your home country in Nigeria in India in Kenya and you're looking to take prerequisites you can uh, register for courses at this university and you can stay in your home country and take these courses and also one of the advantages or one of the upside is you if you're staying in your home country to take these courses at this university you do not need a study permit so you just need a stable wi-fi and you should be prepared depending on what part of the world you're in you should be prepared to uh, stay up late at night or very early in the morning just because of the time differences and depending on when the school is offering their classes so and not only for uh, international students outside Canada if you are in Canada you can also take courses um, from this university but I do believe if you are in Canada you will need a study permit but pretty much most people who come to Canada as students already come with study permits. So if yours has expired, you probably just need to like renew it. But if you're not in Canada, you're outside Canada, you can go to the school and take those courses and you don't need, you don't have to uh, apply for a study permit. So I think that's an advantage. Um, another thing is, so if you haven't seen my previous video when I where I talk about the um, uh, prerequisites or the requirements for the accelerated nursing program, feel free to check it out. But one of the courses I mentioned was Human Physiology 1 and 2. Now, in Canada, most universities kind of function in a structured way. Usually, for courses that have like a part 1 and part 2, um, usually the part 1 is offered in the fall semester. And fall is like 
uh, from September to December. And then the part two is offered in the winter semester, which is uh, January to April. The advantage of this online school is that you can pretty much take any of those courses anytime. So it doesn't really follow that typical structured way that most in-person universities uh, follow. So that's also another advantage. Um, another advantage is um, for most uh, on uh, in-person university in Canada, there is a deadline to apply for courses or to apply for programs. Again, with this online school, they don't really have a because you know it's online, so it just offers that flexibility. So it may be worth looking into, especially for those of you that messaged me. I also want to say this, just in case someone may have stumbled upon this video mistakenly. Well, I don't like to think you stumbled upon my video mistakenly. The stars just align perfectly. But anyways, this is an actual university. So even though um, I'm addressing um, the nursing side of things, this is an actual university. So if you or you have a friend or a friend of a friend or a brother or sister or cousin or a family member who is just looking to take like some courses or actually take a, a program or a degree in anything business, you know, you can also do this at this university. So this is not a nursing specific university. I just want to say, put that out there just in case some people were curious, right? So look into the school. Again, I will put um, all their contact details in this, this little, I can't say that word today, whatever, description. Uh, <laughs> look into it call them if you have any questions i'll also put their contact you just have to adjust if it's an international phone call for you put in the plus nine or plus one whatever it is however it is you want to call i'll put in the two numbers so for those who are in canada and want to call and those who are um, outside canada if you want to call but yeah now as with everything in life their pros and their cons keep in mind um the path of an international student, oftentimes it's long and also very expensive. So there's some time, there's some moolah, there's some ego, there's some money involved. Um, I believe you would still have to pay like international student fees. I don't really know what those fees are. Again, it depends on the, um, the number of courses you're taking and also if you're international versus domestic. Um, oh, I was going to say something else. Oh, yes, I remember what I was going to say. Now, um, just to give you guys a heads up, just in case you don't know, if you are, let's say you're fresh from high school and you're um, thinking of applying to university, when you apply, let's say you want to study business or nursing, when you apply, you apply, to, you apply for like a program or, or a degree, you, you choose that option. But if you plan to go to the school just to take courses, um, you most likely need to select the option that says non-program or non-degree, something, something to that effect. That just means that you're not looking to like up, apply for a degree, you just want to take some courses. So that's just also some other things to uh, keep in mind. Overall, if you need any help, if you need assistance, reach out to the admissions committee of this school if you you know if you've reached out you still need some clarifications and you just need that extra help you can also you know message me but again that's just general help i just want to reiterate again that i do not have any affiliation with the school i don't work with the school i don't i don't work with the admissions committee so just keep that in mind i'm just here to help um because you know i am doing the lord's work anyways i hope this video has been helpful as especially for uh, oh lord <laughs> uh hiding my shoulders um i hope this video has been helpful especially for all those who reached out to me again let me know in the comment section or you can reach out on instagram if there are any more videos like this that you'd like me to do or if there are any more topics or anything that you want me to cover anything that you'd like to know reach out reach out reach out closed mouths do not get fed 
all right as always thank you all so much for chilling with me and i hope you all have a lovely day until next